guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is Twee welcome to my channel thank you for coming so in today's video I'm gonna be talking all about my skin I'm currently taking Rakuten at the moment so this video is gonna be all about the journey of how I got on that also some skincare products that I really really love so if you guys want to know the 411 about my skin and my acne journey please keep watching <laughs> Okay, so let's dive into it. I'm filming this video without no makeup on. I literally just have some moisturizer, some oil on my skin. That's why I might be a bit glowy and some lip balm. But as you guys can see, I've got acne scarring on my skin and my skin's looking hella oily. So this video is quite a hard video to film for me, even though I'm so open with stuff like this. But I've been suffering from acne for such a long time time this is actually my second time on Rakuten so I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I got on that but firstly I just want to make a little disclaimer just because I am taking Rakuten at the moment doesn't mean that you have to take Rakuten there's so many other options that you guys should explore first before taking Rakuten because it is a really really strong drug and honestly it's like a last resort that you should come to you should never think oh I've got a spot let's go on Rakuten that should never be anyone's fault you have to really really sit down and think have you tried all the the different options have you tried to change your diet have you tried new skincare before you book an appointment with your dermatologist to get on Rakuten yes. I have always had acne prone oily skin and I know it definitely came from my dad's side of the family unfortunately thanks but I remember when I was going through puberty I used to get really really bad spots on my forehead you know like the little bumps and stuff like that and then I would always get spots in my t-zone and I have always been really 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 oily and I remember every time I tried a foundation half an hour later my skin would just be like seeping oil again and it would be so so frustrating so because I've always suffered with acne that is the reason why I've been so such a big skincare fanatic because I've always been into trying out different skincare even before I started blogging I've always invested my money in skincare I remember one time I went to Hong Kong and I spent like 500 pounds on skincare because in Asia skincare is such a big phenomenon out there so I remember spending so so much money on my skin and till this day that's what I always spend my money on it's always skincare and foundations and along the journey I found so many amazing skincare that I've told you guys in my favorites video and my skincare videos but if I'm honest they only treat the surface of the spot the reason why I went on Rakuten is because I wanted to get to the root of the problem so I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna ask me how did I go on Rakuten because my skin is not that bad like when you think of acne or when you think of people that go on Rakuten you think of like pizza face or like spots everywhere honestly the first time that I went on Rakuten I was so so scared to go on it and I honestly didn't even want to go on it because I've had so many side effects I watched loads of documentaries and people commit suicide on it because it makes you really depressed and all that stuff and I was honestly so scared of it I remember I went to the doctor when I was 20 years years old I think and then he gave me some antibiotics and he gave me Duac which is like a benzoyl peroxide cream and the antibiotics that I was using wasn't working at all so then I went back to the GP after that finished and he gave me a different type of antibiotic and that honestly did nothing for me so every time I go on these antibiotics it'll be for three month periods at a time and then I remember going back to GP saying is there any other medication we can try so then he ended up giving me one more type of antibiotic and that one did work well but as soon as I finished it my acne just came back and I was just like oh it was just so frustrating because I know you shouldn't be taking antibiotics for a really, really long period of time because it makes you immune to antibiotics so in the end after I finished my antibiotics, I went back to him and he was like, look, there's nothing else I can give you. If you look at the chart, you have tried every single thing that I can give you. The only thing that I have left to do is to transfer you to a dermatologist and you probably have to go on Rakuten. And I remember looking at him like, are you crazy? Because like I said, whenever I thought of Rakuten, I would just picture people with like pimples on their eyelids and pimples on their ass cheeks and shit, you know? So when I compared them to me, I'll be like, I can't be taking Rakuten. My skin's not that bad, is it? When I look back now, bitch, your skin was bad. But it was never to the point where it was like freaking pimples on my armpits and shit you know I remember leaving the GP and I remember I was just crying because I was like even the doctor can't do anything for me like there's no way that I'm ever gonna get rid of all these spots and I remember feeling so so sad 
kind of self-conscious about it. So then I went home, I've done loads and loads of research and then I actually was working at Mac at the time. And I remember talking to a couple of girls and I remember thinking like, oh my God, there's so many girls that's been on Rakuten but all you hear about is the horrible side effects and all of the bad side of Rakuten. Whereas all the girls that I spoke to were saying it was the best thing that they've ever done. You should definitely go on it. Don't read on the internet because it'll honestly scare you. And I was like, okay. So I was starting to see like a different side of Rakuten. If you're not from the UK, basically we have something called the NHS, which is like free healthcare, but it's a long wait to get on the waiting list. So if you guys do want to get in Rakuten, there is a certain criteria you have to reach with your GP. And then if nothing works, that's when they refer you to the dermatologist. So like I said, it's a last resort problem. It's not something that your GP can give you. It has to be prescribed from a dermatologist. Okay, so fast forward on the waiting list. I am about 22 or 23 now. I was definitely under 25. And I remember going to my first appointment and I also suffered from really, really bad acne on my back. So that was something that was also making me really self-conscious as well whenever I'd wear like swimsuits and stuff and at this time I was working at MAC so every time I put on my foundation it would just make me cringe inside because I would always be covering these honker of spots like when I tell you the spots that I would get it would be like three spots in one and I would never ever be spot free it would always be like I'll get rid of one and then another one would pop up and then I would have like three on at a time and it was just honestly like a cycle of me trying to get rid of the spots in my skincare and then another spot will form it was just so so annoying I finally got my little peel of Rakuten and I was so so happy because I was like whoa finally something's gonna actually fix my skin and it's honestly like a 80% chance that your skin is going to be clear while you're on the drug so I was like whoa the chances are high so I was like popping my pill I was on 20 milligram for the first two months I think so then eventually I upped it to 40 milligrams originally the dermatologist only wanted to keep me on for four months and I was like no I read on the internet that I should be on at least six month cycles on Rakuten which is true but he was just like trying to kick me off the list and was like on to the next one so I did manage to get one extra month so I was on Rakuten for five months in total but I remember when I started to take the Rakuten pills from like the second week I had such clear skin honestly I saw results so so quickly and I remember this day so specifically that I was running around London all day I was working at Mac and then I've done a free lunch job and then I went to an event after work so I was doing a little bit of blogging at this time as well and I looked into the mirror at the end of the day and my makeup did not budge at all and it was the first time that I was like wow this pill is magical. The only side effects that I got on my first time round on Rakuten was dry lips, which everyone will get. And also I had a bloody nose on this one nostril. I don't know why it was just one nostril, but it would happen at like 5 a.m. And it would wake me up because my nose would just like run. For some reason, it makes the inside of your nose really, really dry. And that's when you can get a nosebleed. Okay, so fast forward, I was on it for five months. My skin was so, so clear. And I can definitely say from going on Rakuten the first time, I've never, ever got the spots that I used to before. I never got those three-in-one spots where it's like a big crater underneath the skin. That all stopped happening which is amazing but I do remember the dermatologist saying that if you are taking Rakuten when you're under 25 years old there's a higher chance that you might have to go on Rakuten again so I was like okay like hopefully I don't have to go on it again and then look look where we are today <laughs> so when I went off Rakuten my skin was so so clear I was just loving loving life and I had like normal skin for a while and then eventually my skin just got really really oily again and that was the main reason why I went on Rakuten this time around it's just because my skin was just so oily it was just so oily guys I can't even explain how oily it is I remember every single morning when I woke up my skin would just be covered in oil and I couldn't wait to like wash off the oil you know and then also I started to notice that I would get a lot of these kind of like clogged pores around my cheek area and I was just like fuck's sakes I hope my acne is not coming back and I would slowly start to get like one spot two spots and I was like oh hell no bitch we're not going through this again so then I started to get loads of facials I started to get more into like really high-end skincare and I've done loads of lasers and you guys know how many facials I go on if you follow my Instagram I do facial videos all the time and honestly regular facials really really do help if you go consistently but with my lifestyle I travel a lot I'm always on the plane and 
also, because I put makeup on near enough every day, or whenever I do put makeup, it would be really, really heavy makeup, it would be for a long period, and when you mix makeup in conjunction with really oily skin, that's when you get clogged pores, that's when you get blackheads, and that's just when you start getting spots, because the makeup will just block the pore, and then the oil will block the pore, and then it will just be like, you know, a little concoction there for a little spot, and it was just so, so annoying. My skin will never be that kind of like poreless, smooth skin, it will always be bumpy in texture. So that's the main reason why I went back to the GP and I was like, is there any chance that you can refer me back to the dermatologist because I've been doing all these facials and I slowly got acne on my back again and I was starting to go on a lot of holidays and stuff and it just made me like self-conscious again and I was like, it worked so well for me the first time round and I feel like because I took it when I was under 25, the dermatologist did say if I start to get acne again to go to my GP and then be referred back to the dermatologist. So the second time going to Rakuten was so much easier. I literally just went to the GP and I was like, look, I'm getting spots again. Is there any chance you can refer me back to the dermatologist to go on Rakuten again? So then he was like, okay, no problem. And he literally just referred me. And then I had to wait like six months again to go back on the waiting list. But I actually had the problem of me getting surgeries and stuff like that. So I had to delay my appointment for so long. I think I delayed it for over a year. And it was something that I was like, should I go on it? Should I not go on it? Because there's a lot of things that you can't do when you take Rakuten. For example, you can't have no lasers, you can't have no surgeries, you can't have no alcohol. I don't drink alcohol anyways. You can't be in the sun because your skin is so much more sensitive. And obviously you can't have babies on it. I don't want babies anyways at the moment, but that is a big thing about why Rakuten is really bad for you because you have to sign a waiver form that if you get pregnant on Rakuten then you have to have an abortion because your baby will come out deformed it's like 100% it will come out deformed there's not even no chances because it's such a high percentage of vitamin A which is really really bad for the baby but because of my lifestyle you guys know I had surgery on my boobs I had BBLs and stuff like that I had to just keep pushing back my appointment with my dermatologist until it was like the last result like if I can't one more time that they would just kick me off the list and I'll have to do the whole cycle again so I actually was like okay let me just get this over and done with so I started my Rakuten on the 1st of December and this will be two months now that I'm on it I actually have my dermatologist appointment today at 3 p.m it's 1 p.m now so I need to get going <laughs> I just said that my lips are really really dry but it doesn't stop me from wearing liquid lipsticks or anything like that I literally still wear liquid lips and I just put on a lip balm on underneath I do notice that when I'm out and about my liquid lips it dries up really really quickly and also I don't I don't like eating with lip balm and stuff on my lips so whenever I wipe off my lips and I start talking throughout the day and stuff my lips will literally just shrivel up and also I have to wear lip balm before I go to bed if I don't wear lip balm honestly the next day my lips will look like this my lips were just so dry and crusty and chapped and it'll be like a thick layer of skin just like on my lips it'll be so so tight so now I have to remember to always bring lip balm out and about with me so I've only been on Rakuten for two months but I've noticed already that there's like no more oil in my skin at all I have dry normal skin now which is honestly amazing like having your makeup last all day it's just like I've always said to myself having just a normal skin type is just like goals so if you're watching this and you have normal slightly dry skin appreciate your damn skin exfoliate your damn skin don't take that shit for granted because going from oily acne prone skin to just normal dry skin is like ah, it's amazing I also noticed that I don't have to wash my hair as often I remember when I wasn't taking Rakuten my hair would get oily within like one day it'll be so so annoying so now I can leave my hair for like four days and I still don't even have to wash it I just wash it because you know your girl needs to be clean but honestly it doesn't get greasy at all which is so so good also it's something that I really really notice is that my skin scars so easily like before I would get like a little cut and I wouldn't even notice it and it would just literally like you know heal and go back to normal within like two or three days now if I accidentally cut my skin it'll be there for like two weeks or something like that and I would get like cuts very randomly I wouldn't even notice it and then when I look I'm like what the fuck like why is it fucking hurting so much like I don't know if you guys see I've got a little cut here and this has been here for like a week now and it's such a thin cut it's almost like a paper cut you know like on the surface but it's so freaking painful and it's just about healing now whereas normally my skin will just heal so so quickly but even if I just do this it'll be like a scar there so yeah Rakuten makes your skin 
heal a lot slower so i'm currently taking 20 milligrams and i don't think i'm ever gonna go up too high of a dosage because my skin is not that bad and i'm also quite petite so they give you your dosage depending on your height and your weight also whenever you go to the dermatologist you have to take a pregnancy test and also a blood test to see if everything's okay apart from that i'm honestly just so happy with my skin i see daily improvements on how my skin is looking it's feeling so so smooth at the moment i love just nourishing my skin with loads of facial oils i'm loving the drunk elephant marula oil this is so so good it doesn't feel too greasy and oily at the moment i'm just trying to lighten my acne scars so i'm using my murad rapid age spot correcting serum this is one of my favorites if you got dark pigmentation if you want to even out your skin tone it's expensive but it's so, so good you see results in two weeks also for my daily moisturizer i'm loving the sarah chapman comfort cream de-stress it's actually a recovery cream which is amazing it's really really nice you just literally pump it out like that oh i don't want to waste it it's so expensive i also use the thirsty mud whenever i'm editing as well i literally slab it all over my face leave it to settle there and it just gives me so much moisture as well and then lip balms on deck like lip balms everywhere i know some people use like vaseline and also use that like, carmex no bitch i hate lip balms like that because i just feel it's so greasy and so petroleum-y i find whenever i use cheap lip balms like that whenever i wipe off the lip balm my lips just feel instantly dry whereas these ones kind of leave my lips feeling moisturized even when there's no more lip balm or it's worn off you know so i love this one for a quick fix this is the lippy balm by drunk elephant it's what i have on now and i love the fact that it's just so big so i can literally just do two lips at the same time like this so so good and it doesn't feel too sticky as well so whenever i'm walking around it my hair is not sticking to it and stuff whereas at night time i like the thick thick i like the good good so i am in love with the dr lip original nipple balm this is what i was using the last time i was on rakuten i literally finished the whole tube it's super super thick and i know it says nipple balm it's meant to be for nipples i think like when you're breastfeeding and it's chapped and stuff and this is so good if you love thick lip balms this is amazing and then i also recently went to la and i picked up the agave lip mask by bite beauty and i know so many bloggers were talking about this so i actually picked up from sephora and it's very similar actually to the dr lip it's a little bit thicker okay guys so that's it for my acne story thank you so much for sitting through this little story time if you're currently suffering from acne girl i feel your pain it is such a struggle i remember looking at myself in the mirror not feeling confident i never wanted to go out to events i was always just so self-conscious about oh my god what's the lighting like does my makeup look cakey is the spot showing through again am i getting another damn spot it was something that made me feel really really self-conscious and it really brought down my self-esteem so now that my skin is on the mend and i'm getting clearer skin now i just feel like so so thankful and it's honestly made me feel so much more confident and i feel like i can go out without no makeup and i won't feel so self-conscious you know if you're currently suffering from acne, I would 100% recommend for you to go to a professional to seek advice. So either a dermatologist, your GP, a nutritional therapist, because I feel like with spots, you need to treat it from the inside. All this skincare is amazing, but I wish I didn't spend all that money on all this expensive skincare when I could have just went straight to my dermatologist and just treat it from the root cause. Because the longer you wait it out, the more chances that you have of deep pitted scars and that would be horrible to get rid of it's so so much harder to get rid of those really deep acne scars so if you're suffering from acne buy a few skincare stuff yes that is amazing but you need to treat the main cause of it if you guys want me to film another video when i'm further along my racetane treatment let me know down below i can also film a sos acutane skincare video because you want to make sure your skincare is on point when you're on racetane because your skin can be hella flaky and dry and sensitive let me know if you guys want to see that video and if you guys have any other questions you can always reach me on my other social media platforms it's just Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. <coughs> my nose is running like mad. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Look at her butt. <coughs> I feel like I've gone through everything. Have I gone through everything? Hopefully, this video is not too long. Girl, you guys go eat lasagna now. Bye, bitch. Bye. See ya. <laughs>